the waterfront in San Francisco. This is where Autodesk has its Pier 9 workshop. This is a place that the company claims is the world's greatest creative workshop. Let's go check it out. Tell me about this space. How, how big is this space? What's going on here? Sure, there's 27,000 square feet here in this whole pier shed. We're at Pier 9 in San Francisco, over the water. We've got around 12,000 square feet of workshop space, and the rest is offices for around 115 folks. All right, can we just go check it out? Sure. Great. You are so old. <laughs> Will Wait. it tell me I'm awesome? Oh, please do, yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, you can just sort of keep going, too. It's <laughs> so that's a good way to describe what's in this building. Everyone who's here is passionate about making things. Um, so those instructions for how to make that are probably online and instructable somewhere, which is a project sharing website. Um, so Pier 9 is really just a collection of folks who are working for Autodesk who like having access to tools. And we've got one of the world's greatest creative workshops. And so this is a really great place to work. Over here is our artist in residence area. It's a program that we founded around two years ago. We moved into the building with two. Now we've got 12 full-timers. Anouk's desk is like from the future. She came in and immediately covered it and made it her own, which is fantastic. Uh, and 3D printers are used to print all kinds of stuff, but she's been using them to do some really cool stuff for fashion. So these are prototypes for something that would be like from a sea an anemone, where there'd be a light, and then the whole dress would retract as you come closer to it, like a, a sea anemone does underwater. She's got some high-heeled shoes that only really fit her. There's a balance point here, and so she can walk on the heel and not fall over. So she's modeled that in Autodesk software and, and using our 3D printers to make them. Uh, and then she's got some of these really cool shoulder pieces that fit over her shoulders. These are just little small mock-ups, but she works with a whole bunch of different fashion designers uh, and, and production companies like Cirque du Soleil and places where her work appears. And in the past, she's done 3D prints, but never been the one to operate the machine. Um, so now what would take maybe weeks takes hours, and she's actually driving as opposed to letting somebody else do it. So that's pretty unheard of for, for folks and artists to have access to these kind of production quality tools and, and be able to leverage them for their creativity. And I guess that's part of the program. You guys also provide training to these artists. Oh yeah, there's lots of training and support, certainly hand-holding through the tool and the software, um, and being able to also share that work and be really, um, what's the right word, really excited about uh, taking what they're making and, and sharing it with our communities is, is the best part, because what Anouk's doing is unique to here, and that's a fantastic contribution to our community, but the online community that Instructables has and Autodesk Consumer Group and Autodesk as a whole as a, as a, as a design software company um, really can benefit from the work that's happening here if we just share it. Right. We're coming into our arcade space. Uh, this is sort of a, it's like the big tent in the circus. This room does whatever we need it to do, so it's the only open area that we have at the whole pier. What's this like Rube Goldberg looking contraption? Yeah, this is a, a cocktail machine that's called the Manhattan Project. It makes a Manhattan. Um, it was done by Ben Cowden. If you turn that crank, um, there's no alcohol in here, but you can just see some of the moving parts. We, we fire it up after five uh, to make a cocktail. So it spins the drink over there and you put in some ice. Uh -huh. These guys also are actuated and the whole cam system was cut on our water jet. So this is kind of stuff like people who would normally buy these tools, uh, excuse me, buy this type of uh, hardware to be able to design it yourself, cut it on the water jet, which is just on the other side of that glass window, um, and assemble something like this. That's the bell that dings when it's done. Um, so yeah, we kind of, without booze, it doesn't work so great. We've got giant googly eyes. They usually look out on the Embarcadero, and they just kind of wander around. They're CNC controlled googly eyes that are 42 inches big. We made those in a 48 hour build-a-thon. Um, so what we've got here, it's kind of important to call out. All of us just make because we care, right? Uh, we're not employed to do this. These are these are just kind of what we, it's our passion that spills out around our jobs. Um, so some of this stuff is a little bit funky and the wires are out, but that's kind of how we build um, because none of us are professionals in doing this. But everything that's kind of over here is the office and let's go into the workshop. Great. This is our CNC shop. Everything in, that's in this room is controlled by a computer. Uh, so don't, Think about like hammers and nails. Think big robots controlling very powerful production quality tools. We've got a water jet, which cuts using a stream of water. It's like a, a kid's water gun on steroids. It's 50,000 PSI, if that kind of means anything to you. It's, it's very, very powerful. And it can cut through stuff like sheet steel, wood, aluminum, anything that you load into it. It can trace a two-dimensional profile in it. Right. And just in general, these CNC machines, I mean, each one of these is really valuable and, and you're pretty lucky to find one, right? Yeah. 
This guy right here is, is sort of the Ferrari of the workshop. There aren't too many things like this out in the world. This is a mill turn center. So this makes really intricate parts really, really quickly. And as you can see, it can machine from both the top and the bottom. So it's really unique and, and kind of special. And where would you typically find something like this? In a production quality environment. And then you give access to it to really anyone uh, who works at Autodesk or anyone who's in the artist and residence program? Uh, well, it's kind of complicated. Yes is the answer to that question for everything besides this machine. There's so much training. It's almost like being a fighter pilot to drive this. Um, so we have a training program in place where anybody who's an Autodesk employee um, or an artisan resident can take the classes and then use these tools. So that's who we're seeing as we walk through. Um, these guys are either shop staff or artisan residents doing their work. Great. This is our wood shop. So everything that's in here is, is almost the opposite of what's in there. There's nothing that's controlled by a computer. No robots, just people. This is kind of cool. You can check out in the spray booth. We, we make really smelly things happen here. But also, Carl Bass's go-kart is here. This thing is actually entirely made in the workshop, minus the car seat. And there's a steering wheel that, that Carl ordered. Carl Bass is the CEO of Autodesk. And he's like the most passionate maker you know, kind of in the shop. And this is something he's working on with his son. The whole thing was designed in Fusion, which is an Autodesk uh, product that lets you design in 3D. And then he used a lot of the tools in our metal shop to make the go-kart. I think it's going to go really, really fast. So this is our 3D print shop and laser cutting room. This is a really special, unique place. Uh, I have not seen any other place besides uh, Pier 9, where we've got seven Object Connex printers assembled. These are, that sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo, they're basically high resolution 3D printers. Um, we've got five lasers, and one of them is really big. It cuts through thick stuff like inch thick plywood and sheet steel. This guy just sort of does like paper and acrylic. Uh, and then a vinyl printer, which is awesome. It's like a bumper sticker machine. It's my favorite tool in the whole building. This is the product assembly room. It probably has the best view in the house. And then everything in here is, is really sewing machines, clean space to do work. Um, if you're doing anything with paper, sewing machines, electronics, documenting our work and sharing it on Instructables is a big part of what we do. So we've got really nice photo backdrops and lights. Michaela's got a fashion show tonight, actually, at the Exploratorium that she's getting ready for. So she's okay. been working like crazy. And what's this Wheel of Fortune? The, it's the Wheel of Lunch. This is the lunch selector. So if you don't know what you want for lunch, um, it will decide for you. Free lunch. Free lunch! That's a good one. This yeah. is like the, the moment where we go back to an office. Okay. So that's a cutout of me um, at my desk <laughs> that I put there. So yeah. people still think you're here? It, it can be pretty eerie. Yeah, it's like it looks just like me. We've got Instructables Operations here. So mm -hmm. these are folks who kind of like make the website go. And then all these folks over here, these are community managers. So they're the people who make sure that folks who go on Instructables have a good time and people are being nice to each other. Right. Um, and then we're coming up on the swing conference room table. This is like a very special uh, room. I think it works best if we sit on opposite sides. OK. OK. Equal um, on opposite sides? It, it doesn't care. It doesn't um, care. Yeah. It's all made out of steel. <gasps> so Whoa. the whole table, it's an inch thick solid steel plate. And it's mounted on some ball joints up here. Um, and so we kind of just wanted to have a space that would remind us that we have these amazing tools and they can do anything. And plus, I gave a PowerPoint presentation to facilities of some fun things we could build. and they crazily said yes, and so I was like, wow, great. Um, so we've got this room, and, and it really is just a fun place to have a meeting where there's no PowerPoint presentations, there's no like power and data on the table. It's just it's just 5,000 pounds of steel and people talking. <laughs> Noah, thank you so much for giving us a tour. This is amazing. You're welcome. Glad to share. Cool. Um, I just have to get back to the office just sure. a few blocks away. Do you have any idea of how I could get there? Yeah, yeah, we can give you a ride. Yeah, hop on. Uh, this is the helmet. Um, so, safety is our top priority. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Queasy Rider, this is great. This is for, um, well, I won't tell you what it does. Um, so I think it's just better to show you. Okay. You set? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thumbs up? All right, go for launch. You just sit here and relax and, and recline. OK. I can, yeah, very good. Mm. Not the best visibility. Safety, you know, above okay. visibility. All OK. Right. All right. So I hold on here? Where else yeah, do I hold on? you'll have a part soon, OK? OK, here we go. Now, this next part takes a little bit of choreography, OK? OK. So on the count of three, you're going to lean back, all right? OK. One, two, three. 